Hello everyone, it's Rebecca. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am working on this very exciting little project. It is a miniature like diorama bookend. I picked this up when I went to PAX East back in April. I think it was April, maybe it was March. Anyways, um, they have a couple different variations on this and I think they have added a couple more to their website, but I chose this cute little cherry blossom sakura train scene. Here's the other options they had available when I went. I really like that magic one and the little like summer town one. All of them, really. I like all of them. Um, but I went with this one because I really wanted to put it on like my manga shelf on my bookshelf and I thought it would just look cute with like the Japanese style cherry blossoms. So here's everything it came with. It's a lot of little parts. Um, definitely um, you're gonna want probably some tweezers. I didn't use tweezers but I think they would have been super helpful. It does come with glue which I was happy about. I didn't think it was going to come with that. I thought I was gonna have to buy some like super glue but yeah. <laughs> It also comes with a little piece of sandpaper, which you definitely will need because a lot of these pieces are more like wood than cardboard. So when you like pop them out of the little board, they end up with a few, not really splinters, but a few little pieces that might stick out and could um, kind of poke you a little bit or just make it so that things don't line up correctly. So you're definitely going to want to utilize that sandpaper. I definitely used it more than I thought I would. Um, really, this <laughs> opening this up, it felt very overwhelming. There's so many little pieces. It felt like it just kept going and going. But I was super excited to be finally putting this together. And I just couldn't wait <laughs> to have it on my bookshelf. So this is kind of how everything comes. It's all, you know, numbered and lettered. So each piece is like D1, D2. And of course, Opal had to help a little bit. I had both cats help throughout the project, as you will see. This project also took a long time. I have sped up these clips a lot. Here is step one. It, the steps are pretty easy to follow. The directions are really good. Um, I am just really bad at <laughs> putting together little things like this. This one is easy. Just gluing on what will become like the window. But yeah, this is like real time to show you guys how slow it was to actually put each piece together. Putting everything together from start to finish took me two separate days to do. And you will notice the lighting change quite a bit throughout the video because of that. So in total, it took me about eight hours to put everything from this kit together. I think you could be a bit quicker with it than I am. I'm just like very, I struggle to follow these little directions in kits because I feel like my brain like flips everything backwards. Like when I put our cat tower together, I put every single item on backwards and had to take it apart and put it back together. So that's an idea of like how slow it actually was to put things together and now pretty much the rest of the video is going to be way sped up because I had four hours worth of footage um, <laughs> to work with here. So I didn't show putting together every single individual piece, but I think you'll get the idea um, of how it was putting things together by watching this. My favorite part were these like colored pieces that kind of, you know, wrapped everything up and it made it actually look like these items rather than just a little like wooden cutout of an item. I think it added a lot to it just having this finished piece. And I like how everything was, you know, very three-dimensional based. This was a piece that I had messed up with the cherry blossoms. There was a piece that was supposed to be sandwiched in between these and I ended up later on just using it 
in the water that is like a floating cherry blossom thing. I found that there was not a lot of room for creativity as far as this kit went. Like it comes with all these little miniature um, like cherry blossom flowers and there are like literal outlines on the colored pieces for where you're supposed to glue them. So you couldn't really like pick and choose where you wanted those to land. They had like predetermined spaces already, if that makes sense. <laughs> One of the cutest parts, I think, was the train. You can see there's like little people inside. This was a little difficult to put together um, because it's like one piece and it's got like, I don't know if you'd call them perforations, but like slices through it so that that middle part would bend around and just getting that to stay was a little difficult for me. Um, it only showed in the kit to use the glue for certain pieces, however I found myself using it a lot more once I was sure the piece was going to stay in that space because I was struggling to have them like stay together without the glue being there. I think the idea is that a lot of it will just pop together and stick in because it's like wooden pegs going into the different holes to combine the pieces. But without a little bit of glue there, I found it difficult to get it to stay. And it was very easy to break some of these tiny pieces. Um, so a lot of the smaller ones did come with like duplicates, like extra pieces in case one broke. Um, this like crane kind of thing on the train did break off and there wasn't an extra piece so i ended up like gluing that back together and i think it's hard to tell but like i know that i broke it so be very careful if you're going to try putting together one of these kits um here i am assembling like the base of the train i found myself having a lot more fun like towards the end where it was putting together like the full set itself rather than the tiny individual bits and pieces. But this little train part was the first piece where I could tell it was going to like actually look like the photo by the end. I was like, wow, I did a whole piece, like it's gonna be an actual thing because I struggle to like picture how these pieces are going to like pop out of this flat thing and then become this full-on 3D like diorama. You know what I mean? Like I, I can't like picture how that's going to work in my head until I've started like doing it. And then this was the base. I definitely wish I had waited to glue on the water until later because it ended up shifting over a little bit further than it should have and it made it difficult to get one of the main like bigger walls put up but it ended up working out totally fine in the end we just had to use that little piece of sandpaper to kind of um, make enough room for that like wall to go and you totally can't tell when looking at it um, this part is one of the parts where I ended up adding more glue afterwards because it just was not staying put um, without that extra like support there. But this is like the hand railing. See how it's like slowly coming together? I think this was like the end of that first day and I eventually just had to like stop and go to bed because <laughs> it was just consuming my entire life. <laughs> but I was having so much fun with it that I didn't really want to put it away. It was like both fun and frustrating because the little pieces were very difficult to pop in. And if you're like, I don't even have that long of like fingernails, but if you're somebody who wears like fake nails or just grows their nails out really long, I think you would probably struggle with this a little bit just because of trying to fit things where they need to go and like the nails kind of getting in the way. But I did end up getting a little bit of help from my boyfriend with a few parts. So he helped me 
um, with this like light portion and you could see his hand <laughs> there helping me with a few things because I had started getting <laughs> a little bit tired. Um, so this would be that next day and I got kind of the main inside portion done and I was feeling very proud of myself. Um, I had help from my boyfriend with um, doing the wiring because there actually is like a real lights um, with actual wires and a switch so I you know kind of got it all set up and then I was like I just can't get them twisted right like put in that final spot so if you could help me with that that would be great and he was able to do that um, but here is putting together kind of that setup of the wires. So that's like the switch on the front and I did end up gluing that. Like I said, a lot of these pieces didn't require you to put glue, but it's really not going to be very secure without that glue there. At least um, mine wasn't, so definitely be liberal with the glue. It comes with plenty of glue <laughs> for the whole thing. You don't need to worry about running out. I was a little concerned because that little tube was like all you got, but it was absolutely plenty to finish the whole project. And now we are finally getting more towards the end of the whole <laughs> setup, if you can believe it or not. I somehow managed to get four hours worth of footage into an under 20 minute long video. Um, because I don't think you guys need to see a full step-by-step -step how to put this together kind of a thing. Um, I think, you know, if you get the kit, you'll have a fun time doing it yourself. There are a few little um, metal brackets with screws to hold up just those corners, which I think was a really smart move on their part doing that because it feels a bit more secure to me than just having glue hold everything together. Um, I don't know, it's probably not really the case, but yeah. Fun story about this piece. So that first night I gathered up all the trash and I accidentally threw out this bottom piece here because I thought it was just a, a like shell that other piece had had come off of. It was not, so I had to go digging through the trash to find it. I did find it like right away. It wasn't like covered in anything gross. It was just, you know, sitting there with some of the other pieces. But, you know, my boyfriend told me I had to absolutely tell that little story in the voiceover for the video. Um, <laughs> didn't have a perfect experience, so. Be mindful if this takes more than one day. Don't throw out things that you think are trash <laughs> or make sure you're only throwing out the trash and not an important piece that you will need later on because I full on panicked. I was like, no, I've come this far and I threw it out. <laughs> but luckily it was still in there. It wasn't like it ended up in the dumpster yet or anything. So yeah. We got that on because that's kind of the main piece that holds the top bit together. So that would have been really bad. I would have had to try to figure out some other solution for that area um, because that also holds like where the wires for that light on the top go. But luckily I didn't have to worry about that. So this is like with the lights all set up. I was super excited. I was like, oh my God, the lights work. And it looks so cute lit up on the bookshelf. It just makes me so ridiculously happy. Um, I was like kind of struggling the whole time putting this together. Um, but now that it's done, I'm like so happy with the results. I was, when I first finished, I was like, I'm not doing another one of these. That was That took so long. That was so complicated. And now I'm like, hmm, I wonder if this one would look cute on my bookshelf too. So here is the final result on my bookshelf. I think it turned out really, really cute. Just the whole design is really well done. It looks very nice and put together. It turned out really well. I was able to follow all the directions really 
except for a few things that I kind of messed up, but was able to fix, so no major issues there, and I'm just so, so happy with the results, so let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you've put together something like this before, if I should do another one of these, and see you in my next video. Bye!